Over the last several months, we've heard our Prime Minister indicate that because of the Ukraine war, supply chain issues, and also inflation, that St. Lucia is facing the worst crisis in its history. In fact, he went as far as to say that this crisis was worse than COVID. Now, if in fact it was worse than COVID, where is the commensurate actions by this government to show that they're dealing with this crisis to that extent? Where is the command center that meets on a daily basis? Where are all the policy initiatives to be able to cushion the blow to many of the solutions who are suffering? In fact, the poorest of poor. Nothing. The reality is the government has thrown its hands in the air and said there's nothing that they can do in this horrible crisis. But the reality is that we're seeing other countries overcome these hurdles. Helping to reduce the burden on the poorest of the poor in our country. Reducing VAT on electricity and food items. Reducing duties on food items. Subsidies for electricity consumption. Subsidies for bus fares. Support to the bus drivers feeding programs, continuing the feeding programs of the schools all throughout the summer. These are great examples of things that can be done and should be done. When the government uses the CARICOM treaties as an excuse as to why they aren't reducing the duties, yet we see other countries who have. I, for one, if I was prime minister, I would take on that fight. There's no way I would be part of a treaty that would facilitate the burden to the people of this country. No way. And I'm shocked that a government that was elected on a platform of putting people first wouldn't have the same attitude. There is no sense of urgency. Even in Parliament, we saw the Deputy Prime Minister choose to spend time at Carnival on the day of Parliament rather than attending the people's business. And remember, they have said that this is the worst crisis in the history of St. Lucia. When a government doesn't want to reduce taxes, does it not understand the tax revenue comes from the people. It comes from the people. So when you continue to collect that revenue from the people who are already struggling, businesses are struggling. What does that say? It says that Putting people first were just words. The same way that we heard this government in opposition beat pans. And we said they were beating pans because they had no plans. They were beating pans because all they were interested in was getting into government. And now that they're in government, they don't know what to do other than to try to protect the revenue of the government in order for them to continue funding their pet projects. My brothers and sisters, this cannot continue to go. This government is mistaking our silence for weakness. As an opposition, we will do everything we can to first put our own house in order in order that solutions know that the United Workers Party was and still is a viable option, a way forward, a government that was tested during the real crisis of our country, which was COVID. And we always were putting people first. What is a country without people? So this government has been lying to the people of St. Lucia, saying that there's nothing that they can do, 
when in fact all around us we see other countries mobilizing to action, to do things to buffer the impact of the supply chain issues, inflation, and to cushion the blow and the global impact of the Ukraine war. These things can be overcome. They are things that can be done. And this government must stop pretending, stop putting itself first, and start taking care of the interest of the people of St. Lucia. And if they don't, I believe that the people who are suffering in silence at some point will reach a breaking point. Thank you.